Hey everybody, YSOWOOK here. In this video we're taking a look at the latest premium war bond for Helldivers 2, Viper Commandos. We're going to look at all the different gear that you can get out of this war bond, and whether you should focus on this one or focus on one of the other ones to get the best loot. Will you enjoy the video? If you do, consider liking or subscribe and see more. So, as you jump into the war bond, the first thing you can get is the PH Predator armor set. Now, this has a new perk, increased melee damage by 50%, improve wearer's handling with less drag on weapon movement. Okay. There's the PH9 Predator uh, helmet. There's the Mark of the Crimson Fang cape. Mark of the Crimson Fang player card. We've got the first drop pod skin, the undergrowth hell pod pattern, which is pretty cool. The first new weapon, which is the AR-23A Liberator Carbine, 60 damage, 45 capacity, decent recall and fire rate, light armor penetrating. You've got the ability to get some more super credits and the welcome adoration email well victory pose. Over on page two, we've got the Guns of Liberty victory pose, some more super credits. And then the next one is the weapon I'm most excited about, which is the SG-22 Bushwhacker Shotgun. So this is a pistol slot. Uh, it's three shotgun shots in a pistol slot, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, you know, I might end up going back to a full shotgun uh, loadout with this one and uh, go to the, uh, the old shotgun shotgun approach. You've got the Executioner's Canopy player card. Executioner's Canopy Big Cape. PH202 Twig Snapper Helmet and the PH202 Twig Snapper Armor. And then we've also got the first uh, like shuttle pattern, which again is like a camo one and it's the undergrowth shuttle pattern as well. Off to the final page, we've got a new uh, player title, which is this is the first warp one that's had a new player title as an option and it's Viper Commando, it's pretty cool. We've got another pre uh, super credits option. We've got the test of conviction emote. You've got the K2 throwing knife. So this is in your grenade slot. You can throw it at enemies. Uh, I've not had time to test this one out yet, but it seems pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll end up being a staple in the uh, loadout, just because obviously having grenades, whether it's impact regulars or whatever, are super good for you know clearing bug nests and stuff. But well, I can't wait to test that out. We've got the Experimental Infusion Premium Booster. So, in addition to restoring health, stims temporarily increase movement speed and damage reduction causes trembling. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So you use it, you move slightly faster, it restores health. Dam you don't take as much damage while you've just done it, but it causes trembling. So presumably the trembling affects your recoil control, I would say. And finally, we've got the Exosuit Air uh, skin which is the undergrowth exosuit pattern super cool there as well so that's everything for the uh latest war bonds so they've mixed up quite a bit in this one so again we've got the first uh, player card that you've been able to get through one of these we've got the first set of skins for the various vehicles you call them that uh, and yeah other than that you filled them with the normal armor and capes and stuff like that so yeah it's interesting they're doing this i'm glad they're bringing a bit more color into the game and eventually you know, a lot of people will be using different ones, so that's really cool. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, consider liking, subscribe, and see more. Wookie out.